Welcome back everyone. The purpose of this video is to break down and explain the feature on unusual whales called the super flow. Not just the flow, not just the options flow, the super flow. So we're going to talk about that, what the extra features are in the super flow, why I think it's useful and helpful for a lot of people. And of course, I'm going to break down how to use it so that you can be comfortable and get the most out of it. Before we get started, who am I? My name is Peter Tarr. That's Profits Taken on Twitter, or you could just look up Peter Tarr. I became a professional stock trader in 2005. I went on in 2005 to receive my license, not only as a stock trader, but an options derivative specialist. And that was with TD, which you know as TD Waterhouse, or most people know Think or Swim. And I've been a professional working in the industry in various capacities since. I am now a private equity fund manager and also a private wealth manager. But I also spend time helping people on Twitter and on YouTube with some content that we're seeing here. So let's get right into it without further ado. So here we are on Unusual Whales and we're just in the live flow. It's usually where people start. You know, you might start at the Unusual Whales homepage. So if you're there and let's say that we jump over to the flow, this is what you're typically looking at. And so you can get some good data on the options flow here. But there's something that's really helpful if you click on menu. So, you know, most people will probably be looking at this, right? And I just have some general filters set in place. I kind of default set them down because we're going to look at something different. So you would click on menu, right? And then you're going to want to scroll down to where you see Superflow. Okay. And you're going to click on Superflow. So now we see different data. What is something that I teach everybody that I speak to is not to be dogmatic. Do not use one single source or point of data, right? So don't be a technical analysis zealot. Don't be an options flow zealot. Don't be a zealot on any one specific thing. Of course, fundamentals in the long term are going to always work out. And company news is extremely important. But aside from that, you want to take in multiple data points. Well, what do we have here on unusual whales? Did you even know this feature existed? We have more data to bring in. Uh, and let me get let me get through it. So here you see the options flow, and you know you can scroll up and down on that. And you can set all of your different filters just like you normally would. You can set the change the flow status. You go to live flow, switch off that, switch pages. You can type your ticker in here. You can look at charts, your trade settings, filters on these trades. So you could set the amount that you're looking at. Of course, some premiums here we're seeing at $95 because it just left everything on. And you see a little bit of data on the SPY. Now, what else are we going to look at? We also have the chart. And I think this is awesome. So you can see that. Unusual whales put some work in. So credit to the software engineer behind it. I'm not going to name his name, but that is Mr. Whale to everyone. You could kind of change this, move this around. This is called a modular design, and uh, you know that that speaks to his understanding of the markets and uh, also understanding what people are looking for in user interfaces these days. I love the idea of having a modular design. What does that mean? It just means you could drag things and move them around. You know, you could blow this up, expand it to the full page. You can close it. It almost feels like you're operating on a desktop. But what else are we looking at here? Are we here to praise the software development or to look at the feature? We're here to look at the feature. This is useful, particularly for people who have limited real estate, right? And a lot of you do. Not everybody is a full-time trader. Not everybody has multiple screens. Uh, there are times when we're traveling where it's a little bit more difficult. I bring different screens with me. Uh, for me, I have multiple monitors. So I'm always going to have charts up separately, but this is great. You have a charting feature and I have another video on the charting data that you could put beside your options flow to get more of a comprehensive view. And everyone, I always talk about that. Get as big a view as you can. Combine multiple data points. I'm always looking at the chart as I'm looking at other data. Of course, for me, that also includes fundamental data, news, etc. But what you're getting here is pretty good, right? So you have the chart besides the data. And now what do you see down here? You see some interesting data and information on the trades that are being made. So these are interesting trades that have caught the radar of unusual whales based on these filters. You can adjust this and it tells you sort of the premium distribution, the total premium, the volume, et cetera. What do we have over here? I think you can read most of these and explain these, right? The spot, that was the price, stock price, days to expiration, of course, the contract date, that's the date, that is the date of expiration. Then we have the ticker, the time, we all know that the total premium, the volume, open interest, the volume to open interest ratio. But what are these things, right? Some people will understand, some people won't. Volume over open interest, pretty straightforward. But you might see things that you're not completely familiar with. Like, what does that mean? Well, guess what? You don't have to fret about that. You can understand it and see what value it is to you. Click on rules. I love that Unusual Whales did this. This is like an index, a legend, if you will. 
you can go in, read, and make sure that you understand all of them. Now, some are going to be relevant to your trading and are going to make you change your mind and have different decisions. Some won't. But again, what do I say over and over like a broken record? Data is good. And as you grow as a trader, you'll learn to see what data is more relevant to you and what data is less relevant, right? And so that's the way that we operate. And so, of course, you can change the ticker. And the general idea is why would we call this the super flow? Well, on the regular flow, we're just getting the flow. This is what we're seeing up here, right? Super flow, we're seeing a lot of different data points. And a lot of the time, you might be looking at something, correlating it to the time that you see. This is a one minute candle. So you'll say, okay, so this happened at 15.59, that's 3.59. And then you might correlate that and say, okay, well, what happened here on the price action at that time? Okay. Maybe I have a better understanding and idea. And of course, you can change the symbols. You can optimize things the way you want them. And like I said, this is all modular. You can take this, expand it out. You can expand this out, this out. You can close windows. You do the auto arrange. You can add another window. So it operates a lot like a desktop, but you're in the unusual whales ecosystem. So you can understand why it's not just the flow, because here's all the data points that we're getting off of Superflow versus live flow. Why have both? Sometimes you want to be zoomed in on just the flow. But a lot of times, particularly after hours, you're collecting and aggregating more data. This could be helpful to you, having more data, right? So I completely see why it's called the super flow. Know that you can optimize here. And of course, always remember, if you don't like the look of it and you want to change something, this is the nighttime view, so it's dark, right? Uh, we could change to light mode. So if you prefer that, it just comes down to preference. Do as you wish, have the look that you prefer. But I wanted to highlight this feature. Most people don't know that it exists. Now you know that when you're looking at the flow, you can go into super flow. And again, if you want to add more in here, more data points that you find comfortable working with, you can add them in by adding in new windows. Um, and as you go along, you'll see what you're most comfortable with. And, if, and obviously you can change the sizes. This is that whole modular thing I was discussing. So. Add as much data as you're comfortable with. Remember, you don't want too much data so as to overwhelm yourself, but I love the idea of being able to customize, get it to the point where you have what you need in front of you. And hopefully this is a value for you. I've also made recent videos on live charting with un unusual whales, as well as how to use the options profits calculator. And then there's a slew of other videos. If you want to learn from me directly, visit profitstaken.com. And if you're considering using unusual whales, Use Profits Taken as your referral code. Even if you're already set up with Unusual Whales, use Profits Taken as your referral code. You can go back in your account and set it up. So hopefully this gave you a better idea and uncovered and unlocked a new feature for you to bring in more data and help you with your trading. Thanks, guys. We will have more very soon.